So the first thing we got to do is check out this damn KOF trailer because KOF trailers are now dropping again. Uh, last week, I think they took a, uh, a break from it. So today we do indeed get uh, a tale of two characters and looks like the first one is Mr. Sakazaki. I, I, once again, I thought it was Ryo Sazaki and it is not, it is actually Sakazaki. Damn, this boy, Fiak, holy sh For anyone that doesn't know, uh, there's a little character in Street Fighter that goes by the name of uh, Daniel Hibiki. You might have never have heard of him. Uh, his name is Daniel Hibiki, and he is a direct reference to this character. It is in fact Capcom's joke character that uh, makes fun of Ryo from King of Fighters. And funny enough, Dan has even more references to Ryo than ever before. Like even in his Street Fighter V iteration, there's more Ryo in Dan now than ever before because he has the, the multi-punch, right? And that's literally Ryo's thing where he like multi-punches you and stuff. They gave Dan that. It's like an official move of his. It's like, huh. I truly thought this was going to be um, Ralph and Clark, right? I thought that we, we were getting a trailer for two characters like side by side, according to SNK with the two silhouettes. I thought it was going to be something like Ralph and Clark at the same time, or maybe they might be so, do something weird with their characters. But no, uh, once again, two classic KOF style characters. We're getting Robert and Ryo. Let's check them out. Damn, this dude lost his neck. It is gone. Dude started eating meat even more than before. And he's beautiful. <laughs> and he lost his forehead apparently too. Damn. Robert Garcia. Roberto. Damn, dude. Rio looks so upper body heavy. Yo, what the hell was that? Was that a counter? Oh, the cancel. Damn, Robert's design is slick. He looks really slick in this one. I mean, he's always literally been the slick looking guy. But I think even more so now. Yep. I've never liked the way that move looks. I'm going to break it down. I've never really loved the way multi kicks actually look. Now. So both characters have done this uh, seemingly like an alpha counter sort of move that cancels into super? Wait, what? Neat. Yo, what? The weirdest thing, whoa, team AOF, nice. Uh, the weirdest thing is that they're canceling it into into other moves. What? Hold on a sec. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's let's go over it one more time. By the way, everyone's gonna be asking, uh, what about the Chris trailer? And I I I, I I'm sorry. I I for I just we couldn't make a video about it. I was too excited. We checked it out last week. Chris, Chris is back. Of course, I. Chris was. It was nuts. It was nuts. Team Orochi! Anyway, moving on. They're really bulking up a lot of the characters, too. And it's funny because KOF, you know, largely in the past, had very skinny kind of characters, especially in comparison to the big, bulgy sort of Street Fighters. Yo, what? Hang on. So, this is either an alpha counter on block or something. What is it? Is it after a jump in? It is, there's a gap there. So what the hell, is this like a focus attack of some kind? It looks like a focus attack. I wonder if they've actually had a discussion. Universal DP with armor? I mean, it it's an armored move of some kind. And it. I think both situations have led to a, a wall bounce. Even when Robert did it a bit later, I think it led to a similar result. Here's the crazy part, is that he does the move, right? He goes into this animation when he goes for the next hit, right here. So it's almost like a focus attack, like a counter state. And what's crazy is that it leads into the wall. Like it leads to a full wall bounce where he gets full super after it. 
What the hell? Man, using all these EXs with not with no max mode, it is so bizarre. I'm glad short hops are all still here. I'm glad they didn't take away the mobility of KOF, you know? Although I don't know if I've seen a back roll yet, right? I don't know if I've seen a back roll. So wait, he tried to do it here. It's like this uh, this shiny horse shitter, right? He like glows a little bit and it's almost like a focus attack. Like what the hell? We don't know if you can uh, dash cancel out of it. Is max mode gone for this game? We don't have any direct information, but you can do max mode stuff without being in max mode, right? Does that make any sense? You can do EX moves without having to have max mode activated. Is this a wake up attack? I, I don't think it's that. No, that's definitely, he's he is awoken. Like this isn't, there's not gonna be some Mortal Kombat wake up only attacks. Uh, I, I would be shocked if there was. This truly just looks like something related to a KOF version of a focus attack of some kind. A get off me move, you know? So wait, and there's multiple results. Wait, 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 wait. There's not just the wall bounce. Uh, Ryo gets it here, goes into a crumple state. Holy shit, literal focus attack crumple state. Still standing. And yet does nothing after it. <laughs> Thanks, Ryo. Grounded his crumple aerial wall bounce. That makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. Interesting, right? Interesting. Uh, either way, I think, uh, damn. I think all these characters are looking great. I'm actually really digging the art style of this game. I feel like it's come a long way even since the first trailer we saw a few months back. Uh, everyone looks, Robert and Team AOF all look really damn good. Really damn good. I think it's kind of crazy to go back and think of Shune, I think, I think is his name, uh, was the first character we saw. And he is clearly like a new age KOF character and is kind of rough on the eyes design wise, in my opinion. So he sort of is this primer that you're set from that point forward. And I think almost everything that has been after Shune has looked friggin' fantastic. Like everything has looked so good. If not the uh, the redesign of certain characters like Benny Morrow and stuff, I'm like, this looks really good. And now it seemingly has gotten better and better and better. We are trailers 16 and 17 into this shit now. 16 and 17. And here's my here's my my big brain theory. We've had 16 to 17 weeks of trailers technically for KOF 15, and we're only I think we're about just over one fourth done. I think we are one fourth done with the characters that are going to compose the launch of this game. I actually think we're getting a 50 to 60 character roster. I actually think that.